All right, to the left, we have the TCL R635. To the right, we have the Hisense H9G. Notice how the TCL is kind of brightening up skin tonality a bit. I think this has to do with the algorithm really crushing down dark areas and really trying to brighten up the brightest areas on the screen. It doesn't tone map though, so notice how she has more of an olive tint on the Hisense versus TCL where she looks more Caucasian than Asian. So it's a really weird thing that happens here. Now as I get up and I show you guys, there is no oversaturation, it just is because I'm sitting a little further back, maybe I should sit a little closer. You guys can see what I'm talking about a lot better here now. I mean. When you try to get the exposure of two TVs at the same time, it looks a little off, but as you guys can clearly see, she she looks different. So I, I think that's just, again, maybe down to a picture processing choice. Now notice how the TCL to the left has more banding than the Hisense H9G to the right. Also, the color green isn't as vivid and saturated, so that is something to note here. And as we get up and we get a little closer, you guys can see all those bands wrapping around on the TCL, right? Pretty bandy. We go over to the Hisense H9G and there is nothing, it's pretty clean. So I think this is also an important distinction to make because again, these are both budget TVs and the Hisense H9G is not perfect and it definitely does have banding, but as you're seeing with the same exact HDMI video source, Hisense is doing it a little better than TCL. Now back to skin tones, as we look at her face here, the TCL just really makes her look like, I don't know, just, ashy, not really lifelike. It's really hard to show that off on camera, but she, she now it's oversaturating and I get closer. But uh, take the play-by-play -play as what I'm saying here, okay? She has more warmth and red and, and looks more alive on the high sense here. I don't know, maybe I can try to tone it down a bit, but I'm telling you guys right now, on the TCL, she looks really, really bad. Like, by comparison, she, she looks like a, a just a chalky black and not like a, a warm, rich chocolate black that obviously is being represented in her skin tonality, having that extra color, that wider expression. And I, I don't know, maybe it's it's just the way they chose to render it or something like that, but I don't know. Some people might even think it's natural. I honestly prefer the look of the Hisense for this, though I'm sure others will take whatever they can get. Now also be advised that skin tonality irregularities aren't just found in black people as you see here with this image here. Even though she's a white lady, she looks more pale on the TCL to the left. It's in the warmest color temperature and all the adjustments have been made. But as you can clearly see, there's just a little extra sauce with the real accuracy behind skin tonality on the Hisense H9G that the TCL does not have. And again, notice all the banding and all that extra processing stuff back there where we look on the Hisense in the same exact area across the same exact video feed, there's nothing. So it's very clear that they are doing something very different from a processing standpoint. For those looking at PS5 and Xbox Series X, you can appreciate the fact that there will probably be a great deal more black crush on the Hisense, or rather the TCL, than the Hisense. So as I try to lean back a little bit more here, I'm probably going to have to get further back than that, but you guys can probably already see a little bit of what I'm talking about. It's just an overall darker representation of image quality. Now it's brightening up quite a bit, but look at this difference right here in the clothes and the overall environment. That's a lot of black crush to be experiencing in your video games. And this is something that TCL is offering for the same exact price point. I mean, literally look at the background. You have no information at all, basically, on the TCL. And this is a big problem because its local dimming algorithm is way, way too aggressive. Now, I've found that you can dial it down to medium, but if you dial it down to medium, you introduce a ton of clouding. So that's not ideal either. And it's something to note here. Now, so you guys don't think I'm being crazy here, okay? I've pulled up an in-game footage screenshot here, okay? And look at the top here. There is absolutely nothing going on in the top of this character's head. This is Asuka in WWE 2K18 for anybody wondering. And again, you can look all around. You won't see any detail. This is a problem because if we go over here to the high sense, you can notice all the detail now. You see every little thing in the, the stadium, and, and that's a big problem proof kind of piece here showing that there's black crush now because this is a compressed screenshot and obviously it's not the best Hisense has a ton of banding though honestly speaking we can kind of look over here at the uh, TCL and they they have banding too but not as bad though I feel like that's because they are really crushing the hell out of these black levels as you guys can clearly see I mean look the, the black levels are severely crushed. Now the ISO is really high, so the character's blown out and it looks like there's 
garbage clouding everywhere. It's not as bad. This area is pretty bright, but it's it's not as bad as what you're seeing on camera, right? And then again, we go over here to the Hisense. And again, look at all that detail you see on the Hisense that you just don't have on the TCL. Now I could try to lower it down so you guys can see what it would look like if it was like TCL. But honestly speaking, guys, that's that's not accurate. That's what you're supposed to have at the top there. Now, as we get to the nitty gritty, gaming on this is pretty nice on both displays. So either way you go, it will look pretty, okay? I'm not trying to bash either one of these TVs, obviously. I'm gonna sh lower it down so you guys can see it. But honestly speaking, I feel like the TCL is just a little too dark in some scenes, but also it is a really bright TV as well as you guys are seeing here. So I feel like it's pretty comparable to the Hisense in that respect, though the Hisense is definitely brighter. Um, it also has greater expression of color, which does make some of these scenes like the one I'm in right now come a little bit more alive. Now, when things start to slow down and things start getting more dramatic, you can really notice the huge differences in tonalities between the Hisense and this particular display. The Hisense has more cyan in the background and things like that, which allow it to come alive a lot more. And also the color yellow is a lot more vibrant in this particular scene in Spider-Man. And, and the whole scene just breathes a breath of life. And uh, I don't know, I feel like the TCL a little bit more choppy for motion, a lot less in the skin tonalities than it should. They actually look a little bit more dead. So I don't know what that's all about. But honestly speaking, I mean, look at the color differences, the jacket that he's wearing or the jumper, a lot more vibrant on the high sense. Uh, Spider-Man's face, uh, a lot of people call that a red push. I call that just having blood in your cheeks. So um, some people might not like that. Um, some people might prefer this look over here. I think it really is seriously going to come down to your personal preference. But I think they, they both are good TVs for a budget price point, though the Hisense is the better bet. I really feel like for the same exact dollar amount, it would be a shame not to get the Hisense if you wanted better color and brightness. Though the TCL does have an aggressive local dimming algorithm, and as a result, you do get much better black levels than what you'll get on Hisense and you know those areas that have small logos. So I'm gonna try to show that off in a second here, but I really just wanted to show you guys just like, I'm gonna try to get close up on like both these TVs by themselves. So that's the Hisense H9G, that's the uh, TCL. And again, you can see, I mean, if you're looking again, PS5, you guys are looking at that new Miles Morales game. This is about what you're going to appreciate as a difference between these two TVs. Now, as we look at logos, this is the Hisense H9G. Small, bright highlights like this bring this TV to its knees. I mean, seriously, look how ugly that is. So definitely, Hisense is not buttoned up or flawless in any aspect of the word. And if you have a tiny little logo like that, this will absolutely destroy your image quality. Though TCL not looking too great either as we walk over there. It has the same problem just on a smaller scale as you guys are seeing. So I think the TCL is better at managing these logos, but it's still cloudy, which we didn't expect because mini LED, especially having as many zones as they do, is supposed to not even have anywhere close to the result of a full array local dimming television, or at least that's what the claim is supposed to be. Now that said, as you get to large uniform logos like this Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 logo, you can clearly see even at high ISOs, the screen covered entirely in the center with a bright logo and mostly a back background, back, a black background, got tongue tied there. You'll see that it still looks pretty good on both displays. So as you clearly see again, not a defective panel, nothing wrong with my TV here. And again, both are doing their thing. And I just wanted to show this off because I think this is so very important for you guys to see because a lot of people aren't gonna show you these differences. They'll do something like this where they'll just lower the ISO and they'll be like, see, they're both flawless. They're not both flawless. They both have problems in some areas, but this is not one of them. And I'm glad to report that. So in a nutshell, both TVs do something very different from one another. Uh, both have decent brightness. Um, it's just, you know, at this point, you're just gonna have to pick the TV that works best for you. Now I've got the ISO fluctuating here so you can see some differences. Um, again, I'm gonna try to show as much off of these TVs as I can, but essentially, I think, again, it just depends. TCL has a little bit more black crush, but better black levels. Hisense, a little bit more blooming, better overall color. You know, you're gonna have to trade off because this is a budget product, but at the end of the day, overall, the Hisense H9G is the better TV in my personal view after just testing and seeing these things side by side. But that being said, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I thank you guys so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.